welcome to another vlog. I feel so weird with my head cut off right now. Well, I'm really tired. I just landed in Nashville. I'm in my rental car and it is 11.30. I'm not checking into my Airbnb until 4 p.m. So I'm gonna have a nice little like solo day in Nashville. I have been really enjoying taking myself on solo dates these days. Guys, I actually like to like I look crazy. Anyways, I just landed in Nashville for the week. Hope you guys are enjoying this vlog week. I'm posting daily Monday through Friday. Um, but I landed in Nashville. I'm here for the week. Nashville is probably my favorite city in the world besides Dallas. Like, it's the only other place I would move to, which we'll be talking about later in this vlog week. Um, but I just love this city. Like, it feels like home to me. I don't know how to describe it. Like, I get the same feeling that I feel about Texas. I don't feel this way about LA, and I, but I did at one point. I don't know, I just like have this like very strong feeling towards Nashville, and I love it here. It's so beautiful. It's obviously full of country music, which is what I love. But anyways, I landed earlier today. My check-in for my Airbnb isn't until 4 p.m. I don't have any recordings today, and I decided I'm gonna take myself on a nice solo date to Franklin. I have never actually been to Franklin. Every time I come to Nashville, I'm either with a group of people or I'm here for work very quickly and I have no time to myself. So I really wanted to prioritize this week. I'm here Tuesday to Sunday, having time by myself. I rented a car so I can like go and do things that I like and see what my life is like here. You know what I mean? See myself to Franklin right now. I'm really excited. I honestly just want like a chill fall day. It feels so good out here. I will say I'm very tired. I got home from a dinner very late last night and I slept like five hours and I'm exhausted. So I need to put a little pep in my step. I think I'm going to the Bluebird Cafe later, which I've always wanted to do, but never been able to do it, even though I've been to Nashville a ton. Um, and if you guys watch Nashville the show, you would know, which is also my favorite show ever. I miss Raina James. So anyways, stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy the vlog. And I'm um, taking you guys along on my solo date. What I do when I'm spending a day alone, which has been extremely helpful for me. I'm in the middle of doing the artist way. If you don't know what that is, I'm not gonna bore everyone by explaining it again. So just Google it. It's a book, it's 12 week challenge, it's amazing. Um, and I take myself on solo dates, dates once a week. So y'all are coming with. Guys, I cannot say Franklin without thinking about this Paramore song. I grew up on this album. Fun fact, when I was younger, and this was like early Warped Tour days, my cousin toured with them, and it was like actually the coolest thing that ever happened to me, up until, eh, maybe now actually, at least 15 I would say. Anyways, love, throw back to the red couch, if you know, you know. <laughs> Sorry for the setup, we're just making do. Doing a little taste test from Frothy Monkey. I got a seasonal drink and I'm totally forgetting what I got. Very good. I also got real milk. I don't know, I'm kind of like becoming a little anti, like fake milk. Not really. I also say milk weird, milk, milk, whatever. It's good. I'm just really sensitive to iced coffee, so sometimes it like makes me sick. I still drink it every day. So. My mom used to own a bedding company, downtown McKinney, and this is like literally what it looks like. It's like I'm five again in her store. Me again, guys. It is now 2 p.m. I'm really crashing. My plan is to go to bed at 8 p.m., but I am like so tired right now. Um, I had a great little afternoon or noon, 2 p.m. I don't know. I had a great time downtown Franklin. It was so cute. It reminds me a lot of my hometown square, downtown McKinney. Um, very, very cute. It was just really relaxing. And I got to finish my book. I did some reading and some journaling, classic. Um, I just finished City of Likes by Jenny Mullen. It took me like a few tries to get into the book. I'd gotten the sample and it just like wasn't my time to read the book. I think I wasn't in the mood, 
but it ended up being a really easy read it was always I have two hours until I can check into my Airbnb and I decided I want to like drive around and look at like beautiful homes it's one of my favorite things to do I love doing that in Dallas like it is just oh, amazing and I really love homes in Texas and homes in Tennessee so I want to drive around see some houses listen to some music um and actually morgan gates old very we've been friends forever friend of mine texted me and is like i'm also in nashville so the whole day isn't gonna be solo but i took you guys to like a solo afternoon because now that morgan's here we're gonna go and we're gonna do the bluebird cafe tonight early evening like a, literally a grandma special that's like my that's my weeknights. I'm also like really on a Marcus King kick and he's actually performing at the Ryman this week. So hopefully I can go to that. I think on Thursday, we'll see my plans. But I'm like so obsessed. If you're someone who doesn't really like country that much, but you like like calming music to play throughout your house, definitely recommend. Like he's not, I, I think anyone would like this music. You don't have to like country to like him. It's really, really good. <laughs> Okay, I just pulled into this neighborhood and it's very cute. I'm just driving around, getting a feel, if you will. Um, I wish I would have filmed the entrance because it's actually so beautiful. You can't even tell how pretty it is in person. Um, I wanna go across the street too. I don't have that much time because my plans actually got moved up. But like, everything is just so cozy here. I love it. I just love all of the trees. I'm in a new neighborhood now. Like, some people might think this is creepy, but we all do it, okay? Beautiful homes. It's actually one of my favorite pastimes to just drive around and look at homes. I just love how open it is and the hills, the trees, the leaves changing colors. It's so beautiful. I wish you guys could see, like, actually how beautiful it was in person. And they have, like, really big lots, which, honestly, I have recently been missing the suburbs which is kind of crazy because, I mean, I didn't think I'd expect that. I love that house. Last week, I drove to my grandma's and as someone who has always said, or has said recently in the past few years, that I just will always live in Dallas proper, like the actual city. Oh my God, guys, let me just pull up really fast so you guys can see how beautiful this is. It is just stunning. So as someone who the past couple years has really been set on living in Dallas proper forever, I'm like, listen, I might be out in the suburbs. Okay, this is just like so beautiful. Um, but it made me like really miss it. And then I loved growing up in the suburbs. It was such a great time. Guys, this is so beautiful. No one's on the road, so it doesn't even matter. But wow. Look who's here. <laughs> Lauren's here as well. My I haven't seen Morgan daughter. in um, like a long time. Long like six months probably? Like, yeah, or like a year. I don't know. Oh, it's not been a year. Okay. We're, a few we're a little bit dramatic. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what do we do? Oh, well, we went to Centennial Park. Park. I checked in my to Airbnb. A mile short. Oh, finally good. Um, and I did say I wasn't doing anything at all tonight and now I'm on my way to Nashville, or to Broadway. So, uh, you know. Recruited her. <laughs> But Steven's playing tonight, so does I have to stop by, say hello to friends. I'm a social girl. What am I to do? If you weren't in town right now, I would be sleeping right now. I'm an honor. Because I'm exhausted. But anyways, I barely changed. This is it. Alright guys, it's 8.30 and I'm now home. 
got to see Morgan and catch up, which was really great. And also somehow ended up on Broadway and my friend Steven was playing and got to see him. If you guys are ever actually in Nashville out on Broadway, go to Whiskey Row, go see Steven. He's the best, say I sent you. I have a lot of work that I need to do tonight and I also want to self tan. I might want to wash my hair, I can't tell. I just like haven't been having, I don't know. I feel like maybe I'll wash it tomorrow. Maybe that's a tomorrow job. Anyway, it's time for an Airbnb haul. I actually had two margaritas and I decided I'm gonna give you an Airbnb haul. Tour, okay, goodbye. All right, you walk in and this attaches to the bathroom but we'll end there. Come in here, you have a nice little laundry machine, little hookup. I'm just, I'm also just like so tired that like that's really what's happening right here. I have my cute little kitchen, little um, breakfast like nook thing. I actually haven't opened this. I don't think I can. I don't know if I can, so whatever. Here I have my fridge. I don't know if anything's in here. Nope, nothing is in here. So nice. Oh, besides, of course, my Skinny Confidential ice roller. Couldn't forget that. Then we have my kitchen over here. We have the coffee. Um, we have a cute little living room area. I have a lot of space, honestly. And then out here, you can go outside. And I have a balcony which is really awesome, especially in the morning. Like maybe I'll like sit out here and have my coffee. It's really great. I just love Nashville so much. Like I actually get emotional when I'm here, which is like so stupid. But I just love it so much. Then, this is my bedroom. I'm here until Sunday and I wanted an Airbnb because, uh, we'll talk about it tomorrow. I just wanted to see what it would feel like if I would live here, if you know what I mean. So, great. This is my closet. I'm actually about to unpack everything. I'm a big unpacker these days. Love my extra pillows, everything from my um, suitcase, extra hangers, great. And then here's my bathroom that has great lighting and then a great shower, love that. That is an Airbnb tour, not haul. I'm gonna shower, get into my pajamas and then unpack and stuff and I will catch up with you guys in like an hour. my pajamas I made a mistake because I was overpacking and I decided I'm only gonna bring one pair of pajamas for the week because like I go to bed and I wake up and that's it like I shower and then I wear them whatever the queen and I forgot that I was gonna self tan so yeah that's unfortunate anyways um, I wanted to show you guys the one thing that I picked up today when I was shopping uh, my bag like I said I'm overpacked and it was actually 52 pounds but thank god I am so friendly because they let me through. No extra charge, and they didn't make me do that. You know how embarrassing it is when you have to like unpack your suitcase and take things out because it's over 50 pounds? Thank God I didn't have to endure that today. Anyways, I got these coasters. These Dolly Parton coasters. Also, sorry, I don't actually look like that crazy at all. It's just the lighting, but um, these coasters are so beautiful. Mia's Dolly. I love them. They're so cute. They're so fun. I am getting a ton of new things for my house in Texas. I ordered all new rugs last night, by the way. I don't even think I vlogged about that. And I'm just like, you know, I ordered some pillows. Like, we're doing some things there, okay? So tonight, I'm just going to prep for tomorrow's episodes. I'm recording with Danny, Reyna, and then a solo podcast in my fall cozy era. Very excited. I need to make sure all that's prepped. And then I'm going to read and go to bed early because I want to be very well rested for tomorrow because I need my recordings to be the best they possibly can be. So... Gonna get myself done. Hope you guys enjoyed my partially solo day in Nashville was mainly solo. I just like love the city so much. I, I can't even describe it. Like it actually sounds stupid, but when I'm here, I like wanna cry because I just love it so much. I feel a bit about Dallas too, that'd be fair. Um, nowhere else really. New York is like kind of close actually. I do love New York, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Subscribe and stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. We're back with three more vlogs this week. Vlog week, hope you guys enjoy. Oh, by the way, this is the store I got. Um, these coasters from in case you're wondering, but love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon.